Hi, members of the campus community. Thanks for tuning in. And today I have two special guests, and these are our elected leaders of our Senate. First, we have Dr. Sarah Robinson, who is a clinical associate professor of speech and communication disorders, and she serves as the incoming president of the university Senate. And we have Mike Wozniak, who is the president of the staff Senate and works with the student involvement and parent programs, and he's the coordinator of, of leadership and, and programming. So long titles, I got through it, and uh, we're delighted to have them here. But I also should give a shout out to the outgoing presidents of the Senates, and that's uh, Bob Newman from the University Senate. Thanks, Bob, for all your work. And then Paula Cox from the Staff Senate, who has done an extraordinary job. So welcome, Sarah and Mike, it's good to have you here. And we're now just days from the start of the semester, and the campus, of course, will be buzzing again with students and activity, an exciting time. And we're also entering the implementation phase of our new UND strategic plan called UND Leads. And uh, it's something that uh, you as leaders of the Senates, um, along with student government, have been quite active in. And Sarah, let, let's start with you. Uh, with this example of shared governance, um, how far, how has the evolution of UND Leads brought about a spirit of campus-wide involvement thus far? Well, I think with this plan in particular, we're just continuing with that spirit of involvement, right? You know, um, under the leadership of Lynette Krenelka and Jim Rachek, they spent an entire year collecting that information from the entire campus community. And so everyone's voice was represented. And so carrying that forward, we now have this implementation team. Um, and so we are, Mike and I are both on that team, as long, along with um, Bob Newman, who the outgoing chair, as you mentioned. We also have Ellen Nelson, who is representing our student body. And so everyone has a, a literal voice at that table um, as we move forward and carry out kind of the plan. Now it's, now it's the work that needs to be done, right, and we need everybody on board. There's a lot of work to be done, for sure. And looking forward, Mike, the implementation of UND Leads will involve efforts that reach across the entire campus community. In what ways are you hoping to get more people involved? Yeah, as, as mentioned earlier, I think the uh, implementation is going to be similar to the development of the strategic plan. We need everyone um, to pitch in. Uh, I think everyone's jobs uh, can contribute to the strategic plan as written uh, from our coordinators to our vice presidents to our BSTs. They all contribute towards the strategic plan in one way or another. Uh, and as we move forward with our implementation committee, we'll be looking to find out uh, ways that we can uh, share our story with the rest of the community, both campus and globally. So Sarah, are there any specific initiatives that uh, the University Senate is considering for the upcoming year that align with UND Leads? Um, there's quite a bit of overlap, actually. And um, one thing that, that kind of broadly Bob Newman and I have talked about a lot over the summer is looking at the purposefulness of each, each committee. You know, does their actions meet their current charge or do we need to tweak that a little bit? And so that's something that we will ask committees to look at in the fall. A specific example would be, um, you know, as you well know, we are lo looking at equitable pay across campus and we have a compensation committee on the Senate. They should be a part of that conversation. Um, experiential learning is also part of that leads implementation or one of those goals and our essential studies committee should be involved in that conversation. So there is a lot of overlap and a lot of things that we'll probably be asking committees to, to take a look at. Nice. And then Mike, on the staff side, of course, um, how are you hoping that staff senate supports the implementation efforts of UND leads. Right, so the, the, great, uh, the great thing about staff senate is it really is a voice for staff on campus, not only to air um, concerns and things that we could work on and improve towards, but to share successes uh, with the rest of campus and with the strategic planning committees, et cetera. So uh, we have a lot of opportunities to share those stories and to make sure that everyone is heard. Uh, as well as we're looking to improve ways that staff feel welcomed at UND uh, and from that first day along um, their career here. So we're looking to develop more of those through this year and through future years to make sure that staff really fit that affinity pillar within the strategic plan as well. Wonderful. And Sarah, one final question for you. If members of the campus want to know more about UND leads, how can they get more information or how can they become involved? Um, we want and need everyone's involvement, first of all. Um, and so check out the UND Leads website. And if you want to be involved, if you already know how you fit into that plan and want to be a part of it, um, email directly um, either one of the co-chairs, Angie Carpenter, or Ryan's here. Nice. 
Well, this is great. Thanks to the two of you for, for joining us on camera today. This is great information for the campus to know, and it gives everyone a chance to understand how the implementation phase of UND Leads is happening through the great support of shared governance and the, and the two Senates. So, so thank you again. Um, I should also let everyone know that in, in one of our upcoming sessions, we'll have the other elected leaders uh, come to campus. These are our student leaders. So we'll have, um, uh, of course, Ellen Nelson and Connor Ferguson, our president and vice president of student government. Uh, they'll be guests on a future video, and, and they'll talk about their contributions to UND Leads. And then in addition, let me offer an open invitation to everyone on campus to join us at the President's House on August 17th uh, for a welcome picnic, a welcome back picnic. But prior to that, over in the Nistler College, a, um, a State of the University presentation where I'll talk both about current state of the University of North Dakota and also what's happening with UND Leads. So thanks everybody for tuning in and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video.